The Early Bulgarian National Revival as part of the unfulfilled Slavic Renaissance. Toward the 14th century, a new culture began to spread in Italian cities, marking the transition from the Middle Ages to modernity, opposing the so-called Christian Dark Ages, and returning to classical ancient culture of Rome and Greece. The Italian Renascimento has gained recognition in painting, architecture, sculpture, literature, music, philosophy, science, technology and exploration. The second wave of the Renaissance was the northern one century later with the German peoples, the French, the English, the Dutch and the Poles. Typical of this period is the centralization of power, the creation of nation states and alliances, the reformation in the Catholic Church. For the most part, the Slavs remained away from these processes, and the Bulgarians as part of the Ottoman Empire were almost completely isolated from it. As the ideologue of the Eurasian movement Alexander Dugin theorized, the Slavic Renaissance never happened, which is the reason why they are unable to create their own political ideologies. And if the Renaissance in Western Europe is due to anti-clerical movements, in Eastern Europe the opposite is true. The Franciscan monk Peter Bogdan Bakshev made the first attempt to revive the interest in Bulgarians with his book History of Bulgaria from 1667 and, he, and the subsequent Chiprovsi uprising in the Bulgarian land secured. The Orthodox monk Paisius of Hilendar was the one who borrowed the idea to write Slavo-Bulgarian history from another monk, Mavro Orbini and his book The Kingdom of the Slavs. The desire of both authors to promote pan as an idea uniting the peoples of Southeast Europe is obvious. As we talked in the video about the Bitola Plak of Ioan Vladislav, the Bulgarian nation with its peculiarities precedes the period of formation of modern nations. However, during the Ottoman rule, knowledge of the past was largely lost and Bulgarians began to identify with the Greeks, as Paisi Hilendarski himself testified. The patriarchs of Constantinople, with Turkish help and violence, again conquered the Patriarchat of Ternovo under their rule, and for mischief and because of the malice they had towards the Bulgarian. From the very beginning they did not appoint to the Bulgarians a bishop of Bulgarian descent, but still of Greek descent and they do not care at all about the Bulgarian schools and studies, but they turn everything into Greek. That is why the Bulgarians have remained simple and unlearned in skillful writing, and many of them have turned to the Greek culture and teachings, and take little care of their teachings and language. This guilt of the Bulgarians originates from the Greek spiritual authority. The achievement of the Bulgarian revival Although it did not reach the heights of the Western Europe, was that it formed the borders of the Bulgarian ethnic land and gave rise to the trend of cultural and ecclesiastical educational emancipation from the Greek spiritual idea. Its greatest achievement was the formation of the Bulgarian Exarchate in 1861, which would serve as the basis for the creation of a free Bulgarian state years later.